Hello everyone, we will continue the topic update function module and in the previous video we finished with our all three steps of the requirement. We created our own table, we have written the logic in the update function module and we called the function module into this particular user exit. And we called the function module in the update task. Now what I will do, we will understand each and everything in the debugging mode so that if some confusion is there, it will be automatically clear. So I will put a breakpoint onto this particular function module. I will go to VA01 transaction code. You all know we can create a sales order through VA01. I will give some order type. I will give some sold to party, ship to party, customer reference, payment terms, <coughs> sorry, material, and the order quantity. Now I will go for sale. You can check all this data from functional person because your test data might different from my test data. I will go for save. I will go for save. So breakpoint will stop onto that particular function module, which is called in the update task. I will go to desktop. Now you all know this function module will not call immediately it will call after the commit work only so firstly i will on the update debugging also so that i can show you the flow in the debugging mode yes because after commit work control will come to this particular function module so that i can show you the execution of this function module so i will on the update debugging you all know to on the update debugging, you need to go to settings, change debugger profile slash setting. You need to on the update debugging. Now, now you will understand fully at this point of time itself. This is your VBAK. If I will double click on VBAK, you can see the sales document number is 726. SAP only generated this number. SAP has not saved this number. SAP will save everything together at the last yes. That's why we have a concept of update function module. So if I will go to VBAK table, it has not saved to table. So it will save everything or it will not save anything. So if I will show you sales order number 726 is not in the table as of now. It's only only generated as of now. Now, if I will do F5 here, control will not go inside this function module because this function module will call after commit work. I'm doing F5. Control has not go in, gone inside this function module. Now I am simply doing F8. Now you can see update debugging has been triggered. SAP has written the logic of commit work. Now I entered into the update debugging. Yes, update work process has been started. You can check through SM13 also. If I will go to SM13, now you will be able to see the entry here of update request. If I will execute, you can see we have a VA01 entry. If I will click on to the update module button, you will be able to see our update function module. This is our update function module. Yes, we have other function module also because it is not the case that SAP has not called something. These all others are SAP function modules in the update task. 
This is our update function module. Now you can see as of now, I'm into SAP update function module only. RV sales document add. Just see RV sales document add. If I want to go for my, my update function module, I will do F7. F7 means it will return, return, return. It will take all, take, take us to all these function rules one by one. If I will do F7, you can see SWA event create in update task. Now this is the function module. Now if I will do F7, now you can see this is our function module in the update task. Now you will understand the logic fully. Now if I will show you. Now, what is that date? Date is 18th. Date is 18th. Now, if firstly, this will check into our table. Do we have an entry of 18th? If I will go to our table. This is our table. If we will check in our table, there is no record as of now. It means this query will give us the size of RC other than 0. I am doing F6. Now you can see size sub RC is other than zero. If size sub RC is other than zero, system will go to which part, else part, and what will be the counter? Counter is one. Now we are passing date. What is that date? Date is 18. Now what is the, what is the count? Count is your one. So system will go for this particular table and it will check. Do we have 18? No. The record is not existing. You know if the record is not existing, modify will act as insert. So now I am doing F8. Done. Now if I will show you now, you can see the sales order number. If I will go to our table, this is our table. If I will go to this, this is SAP table. If I will go to our table, this is our table. If I will execute, you can see for 18th date, what is the counter? One as of now. And what was the sales order number? 726. Now, if I will see, now it is in VBAK table. Have you seen everything is updating together? Nothing is updating or everything is updating. Now, if I will go to VBAP table also, if some error is there, none of the table will update. If I will go to VBAP table, now you can see if I will put here, now 726 is in VBAP table also. Now I will create one more sales order and show you how the counter is increasing. Now I will create one more sales order. I will go to VA01. Now I will go for some order type. I will go for some sold to party, ship to party. Now I will go for some material. I will put the order quantity. I will go for save. I will go for save. Breakpoint will stop onto the update function module. Breakpoint stopped onto the update function module. If I will show you SM13 as of now, update work process has not started yet. If I will execute, there is no update request as of now. Now, this function module will not trigger at this point of time. Now, if I will show you in VBAK table, Sorry, VBAK as of now, not table. You can see the sales order number is 727. If I will go for this table, VBAK, 727 is not in the table as of now. It is not in the table as of now. Now I will simply, simply do F8. Now update debugging has been triggered. Now system will enter into update debugging. Now we will be able to see the update request. Now if I will show you the various function modules. 
you will be able to see SAP function module as well as our function module. Now, currently I am in SAP function module. I will do F7, F7. Now we are in our function module. Now you will understand the logic more better. Now, do we have an entry in our table for 18? Yes, I'm doing F6. And what will be the counter as of now? One, because we already have one record, one uh, sales order number for 18. So you can see size sub RC zero and count is one. If size sub RC is zero, we are increasing the counter and we are adding one. Now you can see LV underscore count is equal to two. Now date is 18th, count is two. Now the record is existing in the table. If I will go to the table, we have the 18th date in the table. So it will simply, simply update the counter because modify will act as update for the existing records. I will do F8. I will simply, simply do F8. Done. Now, if I will show you our table, in this table now, VBAK, sorry, 727 is there now, yes, in SAP table. Now, if I will show you our table, I will refresh. Now you can see the counter is two now. So this is the requirement, yes, which we achieved through update function module. Now in the next video, we will simply extend this topic because as of now, we increase the counter while creating. But the same to same user exit, the same to same user exit will call during change also. But we do not want that. So how, how we will restrict this? This part we will understand in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.